Hey, how you doing today? I am Tequila Coleman. In today's video, we're going to talk about Twin Flame versus Suitable Helper. So I'm making this video because I have been asked in the past um, if I believe, you know, in Twin Flame, if I believe, you know, that we have a Twin Flame. And to be completely honest with you, I never heard of this term until... I stepped into God ordained marriage and, you know, some of the people here began to ask me about twin flame. Right. So um, the point of this video is to make you aware of how the enemy comes in in subtle ways. OK. And get you to forge covenants with the kingdom of darkness. OK. So um, as I was just, you know, looking up the word twin flame, here are some definition for it. Um, twin flame it's a a twin flame is an intense soul connection with someone thought to be a person's other half um another definition say a twin flame isn't necessarily a romantic soul mate or what someone might call the one but they will always change your life it also um i'm gonna read one more uh, let's see. It says a twin flame connection is a strong, mutually beneficial relationship in which two people complement each other and help one another. OK, so here's the thing. OK, um, because this whole world is about covenant. OK, the way how the kingdom of God and the kingdom of darkness operate is through covenant. So you are either in covenant. You are either coming into covenant with the kingdom of God or the kingdom of darkness okay so um i'm gonna show you this in scripture because in genesis chapter 2 let's start at verse 18 it said the lord god said it is not good for the man to be alone i will make a helper suitable for him okay so god said you know what he was going to do before he brought it to pass right then when you scroll down to uh, verse 20 it say, but for Adam, no suitable helper was found. Verse 21. So the Lord God caused the man to fall into a deep sleep. And while he was sleeping, he took one of the rib, one of the man's rib, and closed up the place with flesh. Then the Lord God made a woman from the rib he had taken out of the man. And he brought her to the man. The man said, this is not bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman for she was taken out of man. For this reason, a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife and they will become one flesh. OK, so the reason why God caused Adam to go into a deep sleep was because um, God was was uh, forming a covenant with Adam to bring about the very thing God promised him. God made a covenant with Adam to give him a suitable helper, okay? So covenants, one of the ways how covenants are made is through the flesh, right? Um, so we see this covenant God has made with Adam, you know, um, being made in the flesh to give him a suitable helper, okay? Covenant means agreement. The way how the kingdom of God and the kingdom of darkness work is through your agreement. OK, so if the devil is successful in getting you to say, that's my twin flame. Versus suitable helper, because the kingdom of God language concerning marriage, concerning, you know, um, a God ordained wife is suitable helper. Right. Other languages in the Bible uh, refers to uh, a faithful man or say a prudent wife comes from the Lord. Right. This is the language of the kingdom of darkness. Right. And so, I mean, the kingdom of God, not the kingdom of darkness. Sorry about that. So, again, the enemy loves to come in in subtle ways. OK, so if the enemy can can get you to say that this particular person is your twin flame, you number one, you're using the language that comes from the kingdom of darkness because I was reading where it was saying the uh, twin flame is a new age. I think it comes from the new age, right? That's kingdom of darkness. And so if, if you are, if the enemy is successful in getting you to say this particular person is my twin flame, we connect on a soul purpose, you know, things of that nature, right? You're coming into covenant with the kingdom of darkness. One of the ways how we make covenants is with our words. 
your vow. Okay. When you say, um, you know, this particular person is my twin flame, right? That's a subtle way the enemy brings you into covenant with the kingdom of darkness. Okay. So we want to be mindful of these words we are using. You want to always, you know, search the, um, the origin of this word. Where did it come from? Twin flame, like I was saying, as I was doing a little research this morning, I found out it, it comes from new age. Okay. So that tells me right there, this is kingdom of darkness. Okay. The kingdom of God language is suitable helper, faithful man, prudent wife. Okay. This is the language. Okay. So uh, I just wanted to make this video just to bring awareness to this twin, twin flame conversation. Okay. Um, God doesn't give us twin flame. He give us suitable helpers. Okay. He give us a faithful man or a prudent wife. It's a, a prudent wife comes from the Lord. It asks the question, who can find a faithful man? It's only God who finds a faithful man. It is God. Is the He's the one who mold and shape this man to, to now be a faithful man. It is the Lord who, um, you know, make a prudent wife. Okay. So be mindful of the words you are using. Be mindful of how you are referring to this person and that person to be your spouse, because your words, we make vows with our words. And when you make a vow with your words and say, that's my twin flame, you are now coming into covenant with the kingdom of darkness, which also means you're giving the enemy permission to send into your life a counterfeit, a counterfeit spouse, okay? It also means when you make covenants with the kingdom of darkness, you're giving the enemy legal right to attack your life with curses, with evil spirits. So be mindful of Satan's tricks and schemes, okay? So with that, I am Tequila Coleman. I'll talk to you real soon. Take care.